getting some uh, coal pears from the <clears throat> one of the local fruit processors. So we're feeding them to the sheep. It took them a while to get a taste for it, but they're hungry enough they'll eat them. This cow on the left here is new. Uh, I call her Thyra. Uh, I think it was the Norse goddess of thunder. That's Bela, of course. I've done a video of her before. Um, she's kind of dried up. These are the two milk cows. She's kind of dried up, so I went and got Thyra um, to keep us in milk in the meantime. And then Bela, that one, she's going to go with my dad over to his place in Idaho and get rebred so that um, she'll calf uh, hopefully in the fall and uh, she'll be in milk again. Her milk's a little bit tastier. It's got more fat in it. Um, but Thyra is very productive um, in comparison, so. So anyway, they're getting some of the spent grains, brewers grains, barley, and those pears, of course. And then over here, I had to move Gus Gus, one of the Idaho pasture pigs. Um, this cow on the left here is new. Uh, I call her Thyra. Uh, I think it was the Norse goddess of thunder. That's Bela, of course. I've done a video of her before. Um, she's kind of dried up. These are the two milk cows. She's kind of dried up, so I went and got Thyra um, to keep us in milk in the meantime. And then Bela, that one, she's going to go with my dad over to his place in Idaho and get rebred so that um, she'll calf uh, hopefully in the fall and uh, she'll be in milk again. Her milk's a little bit tastier. It's got more fat in it. Um, but Thyra is very productive um, in comparison. So. So anyway, they're getting some of the spent grains, brewers grains, barley, and those pears, of course. And then over here, I had to move Gus Gus, one of the Idaho pasture pigs, um, because he didn't get the job done. He didn't breed uh, Henwin, and I've talked to a couple breeders, I think maybe the problem was they were too comfortable with each other because they've been together since he was um, uh, just eight or six weeks old, eight weeks old. So it was advised that maybe if I separate them for a month or two and then put them back together, maybe he'll be able to breed her. So not throwing in the towel on him just yet. <laughs> Gonna give him another chance here. And the nice thing about having these milk cows is as much as it's a big hay tax on me, because this of course is just a supplemental feed, they have to eat quite a bit of hay. Um, and so that's a large part of my hay uh, <laughs> consumption this winter, which is hurting, but um, it's well worth it because we drink the milk, of course. I sell some, and then uh, also I have milk to feed bottle babies, the lambs, this spring. They'll be arriving in March. And the cost of milk replacer is so astronomically high that uh, buying milk replacer for 20 to 30 bottle babies is just not, not gonna happen, so. That's why we do it. These are the coal pairs. Each one of these bins is 
uh, around a thousand pounds or twelve hundred pounds um, and I've tried dumping them with the tractor just out in the field or out in the feedlot but the, um, the animals just kind of trample them into the mud and it's just not really working so I'm back to shoveling <laughs> Shovel them from here uh, into the quad trailer, and then, of course, run the quad trailer over to the, I guess we can't see them, but the, the feeders that are over behind those buildings, behind that dozer. And, uh, yeah, I kind of sought this fruit out because I'm really tight on hay this winter. I had to start feeding much 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 earlier than I had anticipated grass stopped growing at the end of September we had some early frost so uh, any source of alternative um, feed is, is um, definitely helpful in that kind of situation we're feeding 200 and Four, I think it is use uh, this winter plus um, four rams. I think it's four rams. So that's the most sheep I've ever fed during the winter. And they're certainly chewing through a lot of feed. Very hungry girls. We're expecting probably 250 or so, maybe 240, 250 lambs, and they'll start in the middle of March.